Two previous times I had been frustrated in my attempts to reach the dollhouse in the Mays District of Canyonlands National Park. First by weather, then by a medical emergency. But they say the third time is the charm. In this attempt with Jack and Matthew and their families, would support the truth of that axiom. During the trip out, I would complete the two-lane highway and dirt route I had planned to end the solar eclipse expedition, but in the opposite direction. I thought I had the engine coolant overheat problem fixed. It had not been a problem since the solar eclipse, including during the Mace District expedition. But I would learn it was still there. I tracked it down to a problem with the voltage to the fan motor, which I picked up some extra heavy gauge wire. If absolutely necessary, I could hardwire the fan into the run position. That it would occur on the cobblestone streets of Guthrie, Oklahoma, and would not occur on the slower parts of the route within the Mays District, would prove to be important clues in the eventual resolution of the malfunction. Also during this trip, we'd spend a day exploring Cathedral Valley Road in nearby Capitol Reef National Park.
I was taking a trip out to San Diego to visit my folks and decided to throw in a few favorite photo stops, as well as a couple new ones I wanted to check out for future possibilities. While it would be some interstate travel, I'd throw in plenty of two-lane highway and even a bit of dirt track. Places visited would include White Sands National Monument, Three Rivers Petroglyph Site, and Bosque del Apache National Wildlife Refuge, all in New Mexico, Chiricahua National Monument, including a back way over the mountains into the park, and Sonoran Desert National Monument, both in Arizona, and the Cuervo Ghost Town in New Mexico during my return trip. Matt had planned a trip beginning in Utah, then traveling up through Idaho and into Wyoming, but this was short notice replacement for a run of the Colorado Backcountry Discovery Route, which had been canceled due to significant fires forcing closure of much of that route. Yet we'd also need to reroute on this trip because of fires in Utah. I joined Matt in Hanksville, Utah, and Tad and Dean would join us a couple days later at Clear Creek Guard Station in Caribou Targhee National Forest, Idaho. Ultimately, we'd travel through Utah, Idaho, and Wyoming. We'd ramble over Bruin Point and through Nine Mile Canyon, along Monument Ridge, out to Dead Man's Gulch Mining Camp, and through Bridger Teton National Forest in Wyoming, before looping back to Bear Lake in Idaho.
the Transamerica Trail. Created by Sam Carell for adventure motorcyclists, it is a trip across the continental U.S. Ray and I aspired to drive the entire route from Port Orford, Oregon to West Virginia. As we'd end up, we'd drive from Port Orford to Buffalo, Oklahoma, taking 22 days of travel to do so, plus additional days at the beginning and in the middle to take care of some business at my Oklahoma home. We'd be challenged by fires, tree fall, and commercial mineral extraction companies closing public lands in Oregon, a rock fall in Idaho, and overcrowding in Colorado. Still, it was an amazing adventure as we experienced parts of this country that few ever witness. Someday Ray and I will finish the eastern half once we can put the current world situation in the proverbial rear mirror. <laughs>